Welcome to the first video in our three-part video series. The series is intended to introduce students and faculty to the concept of graphic medicine novels and how they can be incorporated into teaching and learning. Our first video is called Graphic Medicine, why you should try them, read them, and share them. The answer is yes, graphic novels are books. They can cover a range of material from things like Archie comics to serious Holocaust memoirs like Mouse. The most prevalent kind of graphic medicine are pathographies or illness narratives in graphic form. But graphic medicine can also be instructional like our very graphic guide to infectious disease here on the left. They can also be more like a biography or a memoir like Woman Rebel, the Margaret Sanger story, which you see on the right. So why comics? Words alone aren't as effective at carrying information. This is especially true for patients who may be trying to listen and process in very difficult circumstances. A 2018 study of patients discharged from the ED shows how poorly traditional instructions can work. The images in this presentation are from Marvel's Hawkeye. In this issue, he is experiencing deafness after ear trauma. These panels show a flashback to his childhood when he suffered his first ear injury caused by domestic abuse. On the left, young Clint Barton, later alias Hawkeye, sits with burst eardrums as the doctor and his father speak around and past him. The visuals reinforce his isolation and show how meaningless the conversation is to him. A study done with undergraduates broke them into two general categories, verbalizers or imagers, based on their learning strength. Then they were given either a plain text or a graphic novel to read. Students who got the graphic novel had better reading comprehension, whether or not they were classified as verbalizers or imagers. This is Lucky. I included Lucky's panels because they're a good reminder of how important visual cues are and how much meaning they can carry. Think about IKEA or Lego assembly instructions, which work without any words at all. Another study done with home care instructions that had pictographs showed that adjusted for reading level symptoms and sequence, the pictograph plus reading score was at least 65 percentage points higher than the reading alone score. Here you'll find references for all the articles and books that I talked about in this video. I love giving recommendations, so please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have questions. Thanks so much for watching our first graphic medicine video. You can reach us at the email listed here and see the rest of our graphic medicine collection at that link. Please join us for part two.